and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody in YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for the Grixis League. That's right. This is our uh, super enemies deck, I guess. Usually the Planeswalker decks are called super friends decks, but we're Grixis colors and we have a bunch of uh, evil Planeswalkers in this one. I don't know if evil is the right word, but anyway, we'll call it like super enemies. Uh, Frenemies. I don't know. It's the Grixis League. Um, so as you can tell here, basically what we have is a control deck uh, that's going to be trying to kill all of our opponent's creatures, use some sweepers with Ritual of Soot to clean up the battlefield and have all of our Planeswalkers take over. So that's our that's our goal. That's our deck. Looks pretty sweet. Yeah, super Frenemies. <laughs> Got a couple Interplanar Beacons here for a little bit of life gain. Uh, down here. Uh, one thing that I'm trying is I'm going to try Thief of Sanity in the sideboard for other control matchups to be able to, uh, you know, switch in here and have a, another plan of attack. Thief of Sanity hasn't been very well positioned recently with cards like uh, Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, and, and even like when Vraska Golgari Queen. Um, like, deal with the card very efficiently you know like it's a like the creature enters into play they play it like let's say you play it on turn three and then they play to fairy hero of dominaria bouncer thief of sanity you're in a rough spot because then you just have to take like your whole next turn to play your thief of sanity and hope they don't have anything else and all that kind of stuff but with that being said or so anyway so that's why like legion war boss was seeing play in the Grixis sideboards because it's just so much better against a fairy but with that being said, I think I want to try out Thief of Sanity again. I think it's been a couple of weeks. I think people are a little more prepared for War Boss these days. Maybe a little less prepared for Thief of Sanity. Who knows? Let's give it a try. Uh, it may not work out, but we'll see. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and head on over to the traditional constructed queue here with the Grixis League. Play through a league with the Grixis League. Yeah, so I'm going with last couple of weeks I've been playing Oh, I should have changed my avatar. I've been playing War Boss in the side of these Grixis decks, but I'm gonna try Thief of Sanity for for today. I wanna kinda go back to that, see how it works. Zero lands, zero lands. An auspicious start. Auspicious? Suspicious. Suspicious start. Hmm. Uh, JJ Fire, I think you're thinking of the wrong Karn. Uh, we don't have the artifact Karn in. We have the, the card advantage Karn in our deck. Well, it is turn one elf on the draw, so maybe we can win, but we likely lose still. I am Tamiya. It is seek. Yeah, we're gonna fire. lose. Hmm, it's tough. I mean, I need land. I have learned all I can. That worked out. Card. Can't cast it though. Come on. There you go. 
my train upon your prowess. Narset, draw a card, gain three life. Gain four life, I guess. Definitely looking for Ritual of Set. That'd be a good one to find. How are we doing over here? Five cards. I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, it's it's worth it. Okay. We're starting to do it. That was a clutch thought erasure. I'm gonna take this incubation druid here real quick. They like yoinking things. Yoink. And yoink back. Oh, I could have shocked in here and then activated as Kanta with the incubation druid. I didn't really consider that, but I could have just shocked in, had an as a Kanta activation. No fire, no steel. Ooh, got there. They didn't even want to see if they would draw mass manipulation. I did not think we were winning that for a while there. But somehow we did. All right, Elder Spell in, Cry in, Duresses in. Um, Nickel Bulls, the Ravager out. Let me try to basically blank um, Entrancing Melody. I'm going to put Thief in against decks that don't have many creatures. Yeah, against non-creature decks, Thief comes in. Yeah, they're likely going to board out Melody, bring in Counter Magic. Tis true, tis true. Which one of these five and six mana planeswalkers do I want to take out? One Lily and let's just take one of one of each of those. This is just fine. We'll take this. Sub Zero! Hey, thanks for that donation there. Thanks for streaming. I made Mythic rank yesterday and thought it'd be cool if you could play my deck on stream. Absolutely. So let's see. Uh, let me get the rest of that message. 
Whenever pass, I'm in your Discord. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just send me send me the list on Discord there. Um, the <laughs> the problem with Beacon, of course, is not actually blue mana for these. Um, the next day that I'll be able to stream because we're gonna do the sub battle stream tomorrow, and then then I'm gonna take Saturday off. And so Sunday would be the next day that I could stream it. Or, of course, Monday or, you know, any day after that. So basically, just let me know which... Um, from sun from Sunday on, which, which day you'd like, which time slot for 2nd, 3rd, or 4th. Everything's free. Everything's open. And, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. So we know they have four spells in hand because they didn't play a land there. They're a couple of mana away from being able to steal Nicol Bolas. Oh no! They have Vivian I've Reed. So much already. <laughs> Not bad. Well, not a card I was really expecting. Well, kind of wish I would have. Waited here. Hmm. Gotta get lands. My newest friend. Thanks, Sub Zero. Yeah, got got your message there on on Discord. Perfect. Didn't we just get rid of one of those? We have four of those things. So my plan, of course, here this last turn was to go Duress plus Narset. That was my my plan. I've seen things that would break. The plans have a way of going awry. Mm -hmm. This the Vivian Reed was like the perfect card. You know, with all these other cards in hand, let's let's thought erasure again. We need to draw land back to back. All right, there's the first one. Done. I have practiced. I have just the trick for this. So another land can make them sacrifice this Carnage Tyrant. But Nicol Bolas is a good one, too, because we can just kill the Vivian. Like but I guess I can't really kill the Vivian, because I would be taking lethal from Carnage Tyrant. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not just, you know, attacking me for seven. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. Oh, well, we would have gained a life from Interplanar Beacon anyway. God, once again. Yeah, get that thing out of here. Ah, I am not death again. I hope they draw another Carnage Tyrant. Play another one. Conceivable. So, do they have another counter spell out of those two? Hope not. Yay. My army will more useful in the grave. All right. The Grixis League. One and O. Oh. Two games that didn't look didn't look like we were gonna be winning. But these powerful planeswalkers came back and won them for us. Some good games there. And we're 1-0. Oh, Sway, I bet. 
dude, congratulations on a on that Stanley Cup victory that you worked real hard for. I'm not not being facetious with that. I know the fans work hard. With all the cheering and everything. Oh, no, we need lands deck. It's possible I need some more lands up in here. Do you think this is a greedy keep? Mm. The cards are good. Just need lands. I mean... Didn't we draw like the six mana planeswalkers afterwards? Or I think I I think I kept with one of them and we drew one. I think our I think our opponent's keep was greedy with just two lands. Ours was perfect. Thief is going to be used against non-creature decks. So if our opponent's not playing creatures, we're going to play Thief. Yeah, I could not play double erasure, unfortunately, because only the one blue source last turn. Just don't have the sweeper here, so I just don't want to let them have that finale of glory get three two twos. I don't know, like maybe maybe that's just not even a problem having three two twos. Honestly. Because like I could just be playing, you know, like Ugin and Liliana and ticking up and making two twos to block. So maybe I should have just taken the crisis to begin with. But yeah, definitely try definitely wanting to kill the incubation druid that last turn so they didn't get to just uh activate it. I am Are you certain of your decision? Well, those are some good cards. Yeah, two mana Karn pretty good. Play the Karn to start digging for Ritual of Set, because the Ritual of Set ends the game. No, 
Yeah, this one's a little over anyway. Uh, Ugin says the colorless spells cost two less to cast, so Karn only costs two mana instead of four. All right, get the uh, the cry in here. All these duresses. Extra elder spell. Get rid of the Karns. Get rid of the Sarkins. I think I like. I think I want to keep the Lilianas. Actually, let's get rid of the Sarkins. Um, I definitely need to keep all the Angrass Rampages of the Devils because this this is the kind of deck that will be playing the Immortal Sun. So I guess. I mean, it's between, let's go three Duress and one Angrath. We'll do that. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> back to back. Nice, I didn't miss Golgari Graveyard. Dang, I'm late for Arcbow. Oh. Yeah, the Arcbow was pretty sweet. That one's uh, almost ready to go on YouTube. I'll be up pretty soon. Well, keeping this because of Cry the Carnarium. That card's awesome in this matchup. It may be too late, though. What a start over there. <laughs> Better not have another one of those. Yeah, turn three immortal sun. Good, good druid activation. Right, let's get rid of that Exelon's binding. Very nice. I think they should have just activated their druid and attacked with both of them, because I can only block one. I could have taken another three there. A clutch bedevil to destroy the sun. Time to face me. The league's going well so far. Okay, your version of five color you play two ego and two thief in the sideboard. For the for command and esper. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I like those in that in those matchups like we were talking about last uh, whenever we were playing that last time. Well, you know, like, maybe I should change my avatar to something more grixis -y, but maybe I shouldn't, because we're doing really well. We got the bolus sleeve still. The bones. Mm-hmm. 
the gutter bones. It's a good card. Slowing them down just a little bit here. You know, basically, it, that rampage saves me, you know, like four life before the ritual of soot. So probably red black aggro. Definitely want Cry of the Carnarium. I don't think I want Ashiok from just what we've seen. Let's get Moment of Cravings in here. Elder Spell out. I think Sarkin out. And the Karn. No, I've never tried a Galta Thud deck before. No, I haven't. I haven't really tried just Thud decks, just in general. I don't think I've ever played a Thud deck. Not that I can remember. <laughs> yeah, Seal setting the mood here. One name. One name. What are you, Seal? Or who are you, Seal? What's this deck? We are playing a Grixis control list with a whole bunch of Planeswalkers. It's calling it the Grixis League. A thud deck is just a deck with the card thud. A thud is a one mana uh, red sorcery that just says sacrifice a creature and like as an additional cost to cast the spell, you sacrifice a creature and it deals damage to any target equal to the sacrificed creature's power. So the original question talking about thud with Galta. Galta, of course, is a 12 power creature. If you sacrifice it, you can do 12 damage, which is a lot. That would kill me right now. I'm at 12. This has not really worked out for us. <laughs> no, I didn't. I mean, I guess I didn't really. Like I said, I've never actually played that card, so I would not have been surprised if I was off a little bit there. But for the most part, I know like what all the cards do in standard, or like most all of them. So. Cry of the Carnarium. His friend, Interplanar Beacon. Not going to be good enough here. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty new animation there with Moment of Craving. It's been around for a, a few weeks, but yeah, it's a pretty new one. Our Gates deck 
didn't perform too well against mono one drops. <laughs> I guess, I guess this trigger, that passive could be good, I suppose. We'll replace the Angrath with Sarkin. Here. I'll also make a 4-4 four, four to block. Now here it was a deck based around Hero of Precinct 1. I have called it uh, Naya Feather in the past for a while. You know, I've played the deck Naya Feather a good amount of times, you know, like maybe like five times or so. But I'm rebranding it over to Naya Hero uh, because a lot of people expect more out or like a different kind of deck for just a, a Feather deck. And there's only three Feathers in the deck and it is kind of based around Hero Precinct 1 more than Feather. So just gonna have it, have it called Hero. All right, game number three. Get to play first. I mean, this is the card I like right here. Let's give it a try. See if we can draw a couple lands, including a red land. That'd be nice. Uh, for the Discord channel to be listed as a subscriber in the Discord channel, you, you have to, you have to, it's not, nothing I can do. You have to, it's just automatic. You just have to link your Twitch account to your, uh, your Twitch account and your Discord account. You have to link them together and then it takes about an hour for it to sync up. Hmm. All right. It's been working out for us keeping the two landers previously not so much here the other ritual set other ugin not ideal and yeah moment of craving does have that cool interaction with dread horde butcher as you saw there, because it reduces the power, right, minus, minus two. So instead of the Dreadhorde Butcher being a two power creature, it's a zero power creature, because two minus two is zero. And so then whenever it dies, it sees that the power is zero. Well, I need to draw like three straight lands so I can Ugin away this Frenzy.
Yeah, our opponent. Yeah, our opponents basically got the. Yeah, they got like the aristocrat deck. I I like Frenzy a lot in this deck. I mean, Frenzy's just awesome. It's a great. It's a great card. I think that's a good sideboard card. Where are the lands at? Well, hopefully this this can like help us rampant grow. Uh, that's not gonna really help us rampant growth. Marias, hello. It is a, like the aristocrats deck. Just gonna cast that card because he uses my mana better, and maybe there's like a Chandra or something that we have to kill. Or, you know, like a Bantu or something. Or a Tibalt. Tibalt. You don't look scared. Oh, they're so cute. All right, we're getting there. That's it. Game over. But, I mean, even whenever I do finally have the mana to play the Ugin and kill the Frenzy, they have eight cards in hand. So we still have to deal with, like, another eight cards. <laughs> watch for them. Watch them ping for lethal... Sacrificing Frenzy to the Mayhem Devil and like getting that one point of damage. That would be sweet. I think if you're a red aggressive tech, you should just have Frenzies in the 75. I don't think there's really any reason not to have Frenzies in the 75. Just too good against like these control decks. There's not really scenarios where it's bad. You know, like it it can, you know, get removed like by a removal spell. I mean that's just like any card, you know, like could trade one for one with a removal spell, but that's about it. One mana away from being able to play the Karn also. Destroy. Hey, Laredis one. So can we beat seven cards in their hand? Unlikely. But maybe if Azkanta finds Ritual of Sit. So we only have, what, one, one Sit left? No. Or they just had a Banefire. Weren't, weren't. All right, two and one.
Ooh, got the sticker off the bottom of the glass. Without leaving, you know, like whenever you take off like the the stickers, you're always like worried about. Um, Yeah, like them just kind of staying on you, leaving that sticker residue. If you don't like, if you're not able to peel it off completely. Yeah, I hate that. But got it off completely, so it's all good. Thank you, Yed. So I don't get to do anything this turn, but then our next two turns will be good, including gaining a life with the beacon of hope. In fact, let's play the beacon of hope in case we draw a second beacon. We can gain two life. <laughs> Thanks, Midnight. You're on the Ra Rakdos Aristocrats deck from before? Hey, I, I really like how you added Frenzy in. Love Frenzy in that deck. Good addition there. Certainly a, a risky call either way. Bleh. Like which way to go. I think the best chance of us actually winning the game though is ticking up there. And you know, if our Yeah, like that I think that's the best chance of us actually winning the game. Tough call, tough call. You know, if I if I minus and then they just attack my nickel bolus and then I you know just draw like a land or two, then I just, you know just have nothing at all going on. But the the nickel bolus ticking up could, um, you know, we could like get rid of a lot of lands there and everything, and you know lock them out of the game pretty soon after that. Hmm. All right, let's give this a try. What if I I'm take out a Narset, keep a Liliana in? Can't 
keep an Angrath in over another Narset too. Like we're just gonna need our, our really big heavy hitters to um, finish out games and everything. You know, we're, we don't have any into the God Eternals or anything really like that to gain a lot of life. I I did gain the life I've had. It does. You don't have to tap the land to gain the life. If you just cast the spell, you gain the life. We did gain the life with playing the Nickel Bolas the previous turn. Yeah, so all good there. Did not play Fanatical Firebrand. It's interesting. So Chain Whirler is a little too big. So I'm doing this to try to keep the battlefield clear for whenever I play Nicol Bolas. So this will force them to have a, a burn spell. <laughs> you have no weakness I also, cannot exploit. You amuse me. Ah, gross. You will wipe your bloodline from existence. All right, Ascanta, help us out here. Alright, we can flip as Kanta next turn by putting the top card from our library into our graveyard. My hair is on fire? Let's light it up. That was a great turn for them. Graveyard. Flip. Second like planeswalker. <laughs> Bolus. Yeah, because that's just if you cast the planeswalker, you gain a life. Gods once. I am one again. I will return one day. Let your weak minds crumble. Looking pretty good for us here. You have tasted but a drop. As long as they don't find frenzy. Just kind of making them uh, get rid of a bunch of cards. So the Lava Coil is the only card like in their hand left. So we get rid of that Lava Coil there. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> so do I want to save for life? Honestly, with how I'm going with Azkanta and everything, honestly, maybe trading Nicol Bolas for four life is worth it. If I don't block, I'm going down to eight. If I do block, I'm at 12. Kind of like the whole 12 thing. It, yeah, because it's, it's four life, because, yeah, it's the, the Lava Runner and the Shock. Kind of like 12 more than eight. Yep, every point's worth it against Red. <laughs> hey, Dr. Grindel. The focus, keep an open mind. And we found a new Nicol Bolas, anyway. There it is. Stormy said he smelled a scoop. There it was. One scoop of Rocky Road. All right, on the draw, I probably need this fourth dress over the Narset. On the draw there. Want another cheap answer to Frenzy? Yeah, they still could have won with Frenzy. Very true. <clears throat> Alright, we need another black mana source. Black mana. <laughs> Not the thing that costs a whole lot of black mana. There we go. All right, one frenzy down. Double firebrands. I don't I don't like playing the Sarkin and making a four four, I don't think there. I think just getting getting rid of those things is the best idea. Liliana. Let's get this clock going. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. All right.
discard the frenzy. They don't draw another frenzy. We get there. Is there a deck that works well against mono red in best of one? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you could. I don't. I don't like have one. I don't have a list. I have to kind of make it, but just playing a bunch of life gain cards, ways to kill frenzy, um, and angels. Like I would be thinking, like a a green white or an Abzan angels deck. Probably Abzan, like where you have like Oath of Kaya and like uh, Knight of Autumns. You know, I think you'd want like four Knight of Autumns to be able to kill frenzies. Um, maybe a Dispark or two. And, you know, Shalai, Lyra, that kind of stuff. Do you honestly think I'm taking that lightning strike with the Thought Erasure there? Is that what you think I'm doing with my life? before action. You know, I'm just I'm just hoping the Narset gains me life. I'm hoping they attack Narset. Do something to the Narset. I didn't have to use the Bedevil and I get to ritual of soot. You cannot see your folly. Please have risk factor. No, risk factor would kill me. Why would you want my opponent to have risk factor? Unless you want the... Oh, you want like before the Narset left? Yeah, no, they wouldn't. I, I see what you're saying. All right, those are down. Had a lot of divinations. Oh, pass turn, pass turn, no land drop. Pass turn. Ugh. Well, that's just lethal. All right, moment of cravings coming in. Duress. The last time we took out Angrath, one at Liliana, Karn, two Narset. Get the cry in here. Okay. We need more bacon. We need, I mean, for the red matchup, we could use more Enter the God Eternals, absolutely. No. Yeah, just going, but that's like the one matchup that you really want to enter the God Eternals here is the red matchup, but I'm just going with, you know, a lot of five mana Planeswalkers instead. And so, no, no, no enter the God Eternals. Just uh, hoping the moment of cravings and stuff get us there. We're not going to beat red every time, but we beat red last match, and if we lose this one, you know, one and one against red is certainly reasonable. This hand's not even very good, but eh, you can maybe get there. They have a really slow hand. That's what Red's known for, is having slow hands. Pass turn. Dang it. We'll just draw our two mana removal. Maybe not quite yet. 
Yeah, we played Gruel Arc Bow already. As you see, we went 4 and 1 with the deck. Um, it is up on the YouTube channel already. And there's a link to the YouTube channel there. Now we start playing Nickel Bolas Dragon Gods and ticking up and getting rid of all their resources and then they don't have any lands and then we win somehow. Well, Mono Red's just a really, really good deck. It's not surprising to see it. Alright, I don't want to shock. So... We'll get this thing they can they can block and take out a spell. Yeah, take two cards. I'm all about taking multiple cards when we got this dragon god here. So if their last card's Frenzy, not going to be able to really play it. I will spare you. In exchange for eternal servitude, my schemes have been foiled. Ah, uh, last card was Lightning Strike. You eons ago. All right, so down to th three Fire lands. Fury, my schemes are never ending. The down to two lands. Us will be your end. My revenge will be pain. Witness a moat of my power. All right. Dragon God. Finishing the game off. That's our game plan against red. Alright, so on the draw, duress over Narset. Nah, duress over Liliana. Oh no, Elder Spell is not worth it. Why is that in my deck? Yeah, no, I meant to take out Elder, Elder Spell. <laughs> no, that's not worth it. I missed that one. No, obviously it's in our opener. Uh, I don't like this hand as much as the other one before because we don't have like the the good man, the good lands to like make sure we get to keep hitting land drop. So let's ship that and try this. Yeah, always punished. Never not punished. Ow. All right, well, now this is the turn we're going to have to duress because, you know, they could have Frenzy for the next turn. So let's definitely duress here. Wow. Huh. Hmm. Do I even duress now? Can I throw this thing down? Yeah, I just got to. Risk factor. to work. 
the saxophone playing just what I feel huh left both three mana cards in hand played the two mana cards I guess yeah they're worried about Ritual of Set from me because I've been playing turn four Ritual of Set all the time. Wow, they are being aggressive here. More burn spells. That's all they need. Hone your prowess. Four more burn spells. I mean, I meant two to begin with. <laughs> so now it's three. No lands. I have other schemes to attend. <laughs> You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. And yeah, we have Risk Factor covered with Narset. We have Frenzy covered with Ugin. We have their life total co covered with Sarkin. We begin. I summon you. Let's make more. Oh, I can't. Wait, Nicol Bolas couldn't tick up and make my creatures 4-4s four again? Maybe it's because they're conceding. 2-0 against Mono Red with no Enter the God Eternals. Look at us go. All right, 4-1. and one. We're going to definitely reset after this match. We're going to try to get through this, this match first. Sorry, Steely Dan. You're amazing, but we are facing the final boss. Let's get those final boss emotes out in the chat. Damn, damn, damn. Watery Grave. Uh, Esper is the final boss. Makes sense. We have kind of been struggling with Esper with different decks here recently. Karner to Fairy. Vracket! Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that support there. I really appreciate that, Vracket. So, Karn or Teferi? I guess. I guess Teferi. Considering they don't have a fourth land yet. And when they tick Karn up, we get to choose what card that they draw. So, that's beneficial for us as well. And then we could, like, Elder Spell that afterwards. No fourth land pass? Dang. Good timing on that Thought Erasure just to get rid of that Ritual of Set. Farewell, and thank you for the lesson. <sighs> Please note to Fairy. Please note to Fairy. 
Yay, no Teferi. Alright, we'll have our Karn try to help us hit land drops here. Yeah, Karn's pretty good. Karn's pretty good. Wow, just scooped it up. All right, game one versus Esper goes to the bad guys, the Grixis League. All right, we're going to get rid of Ritual. Hmm. Everything else is, like, pretty decent, right? Like, all these cards are playable. Yeah, like all these cards are playable. I don't I don't know what to take out. What am I supposed to take out? <laughs> Just take out six lands? Ashiox for Command the Dreadhorde matchups, which maybe this deck's playing Command the Dreadhorde. And for Arclight Phoenix. Lily out. And then maybe I... I don't know. Maybe I just don't actually have room for Thieva Sanity. I didn't really test... You know, try it out really too much. But maybe I don't actually have room for Thieva Sanity. It's like, I guess not. It's either that or Duress. But I'd rather have Thief or Duress. Let's play Thief over Duress. Because basically, I think like this, like they're gonna have discard on on me. I'll have like thought erasures. They'll have like duress thought erasure. Like we're gonna just get into top decking wars, right? And like I don't want to be top decking. Like I'd rather top deck Thieva Sanity than top deck duress. So, so that's why I'm going with that. Could be wrong. Could have gone duress here on the draw and then on the play. Thief. Mm. Yeah, I'll just have Mono Threat. So playing as Cantus since we don't have any more lands. Uh, obviously the little Teferi would be really, really annoying. My responsibility. That's more like it. Really, really annoying. Well, that's fine. I've got time. Hmm. Oh, we haven't lost. Oh no, that's bad. Because like they had no card advantage there, taking taking that big to fairy. But now the Karn. The Karn's rough. Because that, that's going to give them the card advantage. Like, these are just, like, all answers. Like, whatever. Goes nothing. I do kind of wish I... I do kind of think that Duress would be better than Thief. <clears throat> maybe. Maybe not. I don't know if I would have had Duress right away. It could have protected us, Kanta. Yeah, and that's what I mean with the Karn being the problem.
like that. I was feeling good after we thought Rage of the, the Teferi. I felt just fine, but... That top decked Karn. Wow. Really? Get rid of the thief? That's like the worst card in my hand. I have let my friends down. Well, we got rid of the Karn. Hmm. Glad to be here. Your problems are my profits. Something bet you won. I'll be back. Just you wait. Don't worry, I got this. Just the, trick for this. the problem with playing the, you know, like, they're they're trying to set up the Ixalan's Binding on the Nickel Bolas Dragon God, of course. So that was the problem with playing the Nickel Bolas Dragon God, and I didn't really want to play the land and, like, let them know. Let's try this. We're not welcome, I mean, but am I? I have other plans. Dematerializing? I won't forget our time together. Spark will be mine. So we can, yeah, bounce that Ixalan's Binding draw card. I know all there is to know. I will return. You won. Well done. Look to see me no more. No! I am not making this up as I go! Hope they don't have a counter spell. I really should have seen that coming. Yeah, you should have. I know more than you could learn. This seeks be gone, interloper. You beat me Suffer this time. for your cause. Okay. Still got the the one binding. Conceivable. I think. Yeah, this, like, the big thing, the big thing they didn't do, like, you know, like, whenever they top decked the Karn, we were in a lot of trouble, and then they had that, that Thought Erasure, and they didn't thought, like, they Thought Erasure the Thief of Sanity, they didn't take the, um, Bedevil, and so we got to Bedevil their Karn, and then they didn't have, like, that, that extra card every turn, like, for those next turns, um, and that was huge. Thanks, Pruger. And a Laredus one. Getting that gifted sub from After Wizard. 
bringing in the hype for that five win league there thanks santa after wizard thank you so much everybody's getting the hype in the channel love it um so that that last turn, I don't, I don't know if I was gonna keep. Yeah, I guess I would just keep Narset. It's Narset's too good of a card, but I really wouldn't have minded a land where, like, with a land, I would have been able to flip the this Nicol Bolas into the other one, grab their Teferi, have the Teferi tuck the Ixalan's Binding, and get my Nicol Bolas Dragon God back. That was that was kind of my plan if I would have hit a land drop, but I think I would have just kept the Narset. All right, so overall, after, so like this worked out really well. Um, overall, I think that the four Thief of Sanities are not necessary after, you know, like we played the control matchup there. I don't think we need it. You know, like I think we can just play duress. Basically, I think this is just kind of overkill for control. You know, like we have like our deck is already pretty tuned towards control already with all these planeswalkers and everything. So honestly, we probably could just take out these thieves and just have more against aggro, honestly. Um, maybe like uh, just a fourth moment of craving or I don't know if you need four moment of cravings against mono red I don't know moment of craving is pretty great Um, but maybe like so against mono red get a little bit more life gain in here maybe get like one contempt and maybe you do just be able to play like a bunch of enter the god eternals um is there no let's get a fourth no the deck the deck should have a fourth ritual of soot with all like those mana creature decks and everything we should have there should be a fourth ritual of soot certainly and then two enter the god eternals yeah like whenever you face the mana creature decks and stuff you need you really want ritual of soots and yeah get a fourth one of those in there and then a, a contempt that can be a life gain spell that can take out Chandra, but that can also take out Phoenix. Uh, like this is like Contempt is really good against Gruul. We didn't we didn't face Gruul. That'd be a really good card in that matchup. And then maybe um, a couple uh, into the God Eternals as well. Because yeah, I think I think that the basically the Thief of Sanity just kind of overkill for the control matchups. Just not not too necessary. All right, so there we go. Uh, you'd want one more beacon. The beacons were good, but I don't. I guess, I guess a steam vent or like a sulfur falls. I'd rather cut a sulfur falls than a steam vent. I think. But we probably could cut one of those. No, there were some games where we didn't have blue mana for thought erasure, and with adding in enter the god eternals, it costs double blue. I want to keep those in there. All right. So that's the Grixis League. So if you are uh, widespread brutality, you need other amass stuff to be playing widespread brutality. Really, Ritual of Soot's just going to be better for you in this kind of deck. I'd rather have Cry of the Carnarium than widespread brutality without other amass stuff. Um, uh, Red Finale. We're not we're not really playing that many spells in this deck. Like this is a Planeswalker deck. Uh, there, I mean, obviously there are some, but it, I think a lot of times you'll just be sitting at looking at your Red Finale and it not doing stuff. Uh, mass manipulation. Oh, what would you side against mass manipulation with this deck? Uh, just uh, discard. Just try to just try to take it from their hand, basically. Um, you know, if they if they top deck a, I thought I turned you off. If they top deck uh, mass manipulation in the late game, you know they they're gonna get you. Like that's you can't stop that. Um, that'll just happen. I don't really want counter magic because of little Teferi around these days. And I don't think you need counter magic at all. <clears throat> all right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, um, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I guess I hope, I hope you liked it. I should probably just have said that first. Uh, but that's it here for the Grixis League. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.